Hey, 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 this is Seagrove, and today we're going to be looking at the best decks in format and what makes them the best according to top players. So, uh, before we go through, I want to explain sort of the process and how I got here. Um, I reached out to some of the best players in the game and asked them what they thought was the best, the second, and the third best deck, and what made them in that position. Um, I have their answers in a Google Doc, but I put it into a more digestible format here. And so we'll be going through this, looking at pros and cons. You see these... Um, this at the top is how many points it got, uh, three points for a uh, first place, two points for a second place vote, and one point for a third place vote. Um, so before we really get into it, shout out to my sponsor, the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that up. Um, this is BDIF votes. So who did who said what deck is the best in format? So ADPZ had five, Picarom had four, and Luke Metal had one. Now let's go through each of the decks. So... Um, ADPZ got 23 points. Pros are three to four turns. Often you can win a game in three to four turns. Um, obviously the GX boss boss for you know Dene or Crobat or whatever. Just a busted, um, legitimately a busted mechanic. Um, it locks out a ton of other archetypes and the stats don't lie. It just keeps winning. So um, cons are it's a bit linear. And if you lose your ADP after GXing, it can really uh, set you back. So that's um, what is, I guess, considered the best deck in format. Very, very close to it was Picarom. Pros being consistent, excel and consistency and acceleration. It can accelerate very consistently as well. It sets up well. Um, it's got a lot of options and versatility. And then its stamp and paralysis is one of the best. Uh, like a late game stamp and um, I think it's Tandem Shock or something like that. Uh, sets up really good disruption late game. Um, cons are, you know, it's got these options, not both in deck building but also in play, which makes it a bit harder to pilot. And the ADP matchup can be bad. I say can because some people said it is, some people said it isn't. So, all right, number three um, with seven points. You see that big drop off. So ADPZ and Picarom are the two big players here. Um, was Lucario Melmetal. And um, it has solid matchups against just about everything that's not fire, and it can out outlast most decks. Now, cons obviously fire, send a scorch, even baby blounds. Um, it can also have trouble if someone's playing ADPZ or Picarom and they're playing, they're a really good pilot and they know how to play it conservatively in that matchup, that can be uh, trouble for it. The fourth best deck was Eternatus. Eternatus and uh, Mew Mewtwo had three votes each, but. Um, Eternatus is super strong when it draws hot, and it's pretty consistent. But um, a con for it, in a way, is also consistency. I know that's weird, but um, it draws well. But like it draws a lot of cards, it gets through the deck. But it, it needs a lot, and especially in certain cert situations. So you're always going to need that um, VMAX, um, the energies on it, and then sometimes you're going to need a certain amount of um, Zigzagoons without using too many Crobats and such. So. Um, also, it's very susceptible to energy removal, and you can only use dark types. I mean, for the most part, you can only use dark types. Okay, so last is uh, Mew, Mewtwo, and obviously it's got acceleration and massive amounts of versatility and options. So many options for this deck. Um, problem is it needs Dedenes to set up, and ADP just eats that alive. Um, and then awkward hands can force you into really tough situations. Um, it can be a bit inconsistent as well, as you have a, quite a few pieces. You know, you need to get certain cards on the discard and such. You gotta hit your acceleration. So, yeah. Anyways, that is um, the best decks in format. Again, I am. I have a link for the description below for their actual answers if you're interested in that. Um, thanks for watching and peace out.